Hi, everybody. This is Ms. Nunez here to talk to you about the root labor. And uh, this mem being root number 21, labor means work, especially when something is laborious, which would be physically engaging and phys physical work. So when we look at the words included in this group, uh, you know that there are um, just a few here uh, about labor. So if somebody has a labor kind of job, uh, they would probably be working physically. So the people, laborers out there working on the street, holding signs, uh, conducting traffic, um, it doesn't require a lot of mental activity. Uh, maybe they're doing construction and hammering. You may even work in a factory and you're putting pieces together and it doesn't require a lot of mental work and it's just physical labor. So um, his labor, you can say his labor was very appreciated by his boss. So you can tell that this is a noun. Uh, you can labor on something. So he labored all night uh, completing his essay. So a person can use this word as a verb. He is laboring um, on the model. He's putting it together. Naturally, a laborer is a person who works in a physical job. Uh, so it can also be plural. Laborers uh, have to work in the field all day. If something is laborious, it's so intense. It's so difficult. And something can be mentally laborious or physically laborious. It just means hard. So uh, completing your assignments in eyelid is very laborious. You have to work uh, to get them done. Uh, laboratory is a place where they conduct experiments or do research. And many times they just make it short by calling it a lab. Uh, some people can say, I have a lab in my class. Yes, uh, today. So they just make it short. You can say laboratories are examining uh, the cells in microscopes to determine if they are cancerous. Uh, so a laboratory uh, probably has a very sterile environment um, and they do studies there. Collaborate is when you work with other people. So col, co, uh, is to do something with someone else, like cooperate. Collaborate is a little bit different because you're both actually working to get the task done. So you and I and somebody else, we are collaborating. You can tell that this is a verb. Uh, we collaborated to write a plan. We collaborated on a project. So it means to work together, not just cooperate. That just means I cooperated, I helped. But if you collaborate, you're working on it very actively. Elaborate is when you explain it further and further. So if you stop right there, okay, good enough. But if you elaborate on it, you explain more. So um, the president elaborated on his plan to get everyone vaccinated uh, in three months. So if you elaborate on how you're gonna do that, you're gonna say, oh, the pharmacies and the dentists and the doctors and everybody who can give you a shot 
is going to be open from nine to five and they're gonna vaccinate the old people first. And so they elaborate and continue on to explain more details. Um, so if something is elaborated, it's fully worked out. So the plan was elaborated last month. Uh, the business owners elaborated and uh, completed the plan and it was all worked out. B labor is to do something until you're sick and tired of it. So he belabored all night um, until he was nauseous. So this definition has nauseatum. So it just means to work on something until it is complete. Uh, something all else about labor that isn't exactly on here. It can uh, also include when somebody is going into labor. That means that they're gonna have a baby. So in order to move the baby down through the birth canal and give birth, uh, the person has to push and all that, not to get into the details and elaborate too much on that. But um, you can go into labor and you can also say he labored all night and she labored all night or she belabored um, the birth of the baby. She probably was uh, in, um, in the hospital for a really long time so she was really tired of it. Okay, so these are the words in this group and I hope that helps you understand them better. See you later.